Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure holiday video. Wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Thanksgiving from D Hunter Reviews, action figure style. Have a good meal, spend time with your family, find something to be thankful for, be safe and have a good time. This is a repost of a Thanksgiving holiday video I made back in 2021. This is the Penguin and Scarecrow working together to ruin Thanksgiving. Why? Well, you gotta watch the video to find out why. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Thanksgiving from D Hunter's Reviews. Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure holiday video. Today, this is going to be a Thanksgiving video. It's going to be Penguin's Fearful Thanksgiving, and you'll see why it's called that in this video. I often try to do these holiday videos. A little holiday themed video in my Batman action figure Gotham City world. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Want to wish everyone out there a happy Thanksgiving in this 2021. A lot of rough times, but have a little fun with your family. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Here we go. So it's going to start off with Alfred Pennyworth making a Thanksgiving feast in the Wayne Manor. He's preparing a meal for Batman and his Batman family. Batman invited all of his allies and various different sidekicks and supporting characters over for a Thanksgiving dinner. Of course, only the ones that know Bruce Wayne's Batman. You can see Alfred preparing the meal in the kitchen. He had a little mishap just now. And then Alfred is setting the table. He's using the master dining room in the Wayne Mansion. Finally, all the guests have arrived. We have a bunch of different characters. Damian Wayne, Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Lucius Fox, Barbara Gordon, Kathy Kane, Clark Kent, Lois Lane, Duke Thomas, and Jean Paul Valley, and there are still more to come. Batman has invited a bunch of his allies. Many won't make it, but some do, even some he hasn't seen for a long time. In comes the Man of Bats. Man of Bats here is more or less a Native American version of Batman. As you can probably imagine, he has some very strong feelings about Thanksgiving. He's sort of protesting in front of everybody. They're celebrating and giving thanks to the raping and pillage of his land and people. It was almost genocide. And of course, this causes a lot of embarrassment among the guests. Some people feel so awkward they don't even want to eat. The room is completely silent. And of course, things always get interrupted. There's a TV broadcast, and that has the Penguin and Scarecrow saying they are going to gas the entire city unless Thanksgiving is officially canceled. It seems like a very odd sort of blackmail to Bruce Wayne. But they cannot stand for something like this. Then Gordon hits the signal, calls to Batman. Bruce Wayne invites the man of bats to join him and Robin to visit Gordon and find out what's happening on Thanksgiving. The man of bats gladly joins them. This is something they can all agree on. This has to be stopped. Gotham City Parade will be set up and will be filled with citizens shortly. It's getting set up right now. Batman does find it very odd that Scarecrow and Penguin are working together. That is not their traditional M.O. Batman, the Man of Bats, and Robin are on GCPD headquarters. They're meeting with Commissioner Gordon. He explains to them that Penguin has made this threat of gassing the entire city unless Thanksgiving is officially canceled. He wants it canceled for the entire nation, and Gordon knows he does not have the power to make that happen. So Batman... The Man of Bats and Robin have to take action. They're going to foil their plans one way or another. Batman, Robin, and the Man of Bats get on top of a rooftop. They're looking toward downtown Gotham City. And what they see, they cannot believe. The Gotham Parade is being set up. You can see all the different big balloons and floats going through the city. We've got Penguin there, Scarecrow, 
and an endless amount of their henchmen. They are not going to let today be lost. Batman taps his cowl to have better vision. He uses heat signatures to see where all the enemy thugs are. First of all, there are several penguin thugs across the way on the rooftop. A couple scarecrow henchmen below them. A few more penguin thugs near the parade balloons. Some scarecrow henchmen above that. And then what appears to be penguin completely by himself on the rooftop. And on the other side, some more penguin henchmen, some scarecrow thugs, and scarecrow himself. Our heroes know this won't be easy. There are a ton of enemies and only three of them. They have to act quick as the citizens of Gotham will be coming downtown very soon. Batman and team make short work of the first group of penguin thugs. Their goal is to take out the penguin first as he's undefended. As Robin and the Man of Bats finish off a couple more scarecrow henchmen, Batman confronts Penguin on the rooftop. He is demanding to know why Penguin is trying to get an end to Thanksgiving. This is a sacred holiday about family, friends, and tradition. Of course, Penguin won't answer easily. Penguin's toughest henchman, Mr. Sickle, comes from around the billboard. Penguin pulls out his umbrella, prepared to make a quick escape as his henchman keeps Batman busy. As Batman fights Mr. Sickle, Penguin uses his umbrella to fly away. The heroes know they're running out of time. They've got to get to Scarecrow, get the detonator, and prevent the city from getting gassed. And after Batman taps on his cowl, he obsesses the situation and realizes they do not have enough time to take down all the different henchmen. He's got to think of something quick. He suggests to the other two heroes, I need you to go down there, cause a distraction. I'll meet you guys in a few minutes. Robin and the Man of Bats just watch as Batman jumps down the building, drops into the White Knight Bat Cycle, and drives out of there. But you know what? They're going to stick to the plan. And without saying a word, no hesitation, Damien jumps down and starts pummeling on the Penguin Thugs. The Man of Bats is trying a stealthier approach on the other side. Batman arrives back at the Batcave. Now he knows they can take out the Scarecrow, Penguin, all the henchmen. But can they do it in time? He doesn't believe they can. He grapples up to get into the Batwing. He has to use that to save the day. He gets into the cockpit of this massive plane. He starts it up, lights it up, and gets ready for action full speed to downtown Gotham. Scarecrow ends up infecting both the Man of Bats and Robin with his fear toxin. And in flies the Batwing, soaring through the skies of Gotham. He may be too late to stop Robin and the Man of Bats from getting infected, but he can at least save the rest of the city. Batman extends the claw from the front of the Batwing. Batman swoops up all these balloons, takes them up into the sky, decides to release them where the toxins won't affect any of the citizens. Scarecrow asks, where does he get those wonderful toys? Then the Man of Bats and Robin get up and punch Scarecrow. They take him down and subdue him. Scarecrow asks Batman, how? How are you guys still alive? And Batman replies, We knew you were in charge. We were all inoculated before we even came out here. Batman asks Scarecrow, What do you have against Thanksgiving? Why are you and Penguin working together? Scarecrow simply replies, I have nothing against Thanksgiving. I'm simply using Penguin for his money. He financed this whole operation. Penguin's the one with the problem on Thanksgiving. I simply wanted to unleash fear on the city. The Man of Bats asks Batman how they're going to track down the Penguin. At this point, Batman reveals that he put a tracer on Penguin's umbrella. It'll take them right to him. Batman and the Man of Bats jumps back in the Batwing to get Penguin. Robin takes care of an already subdued Scarecrow. Batman and the Man of Bats easily track down Penguin. They confront him, and Penguin knows he's no match for either one of them. 
Batman asks Penguin, Why are you doing this? What do you have against Thanksgiving? You've ruined this for so many people. Or at least you tried. Penguin, almost in tears at this point, seems genuinely sad. Penguin says, Thanksgiving is a hoax. It's treacherous. It is bad for the bird community. That is why I represent. And Batman simply shakes his head, tells Penguin, I'm putting him back to Arkham. The doctors are going to have a field day with you. They end up returning to the Wayne Manor and finishing their Thanksgiving dinner. The Man of Bats makes a speech midway through. He explained to them, Thanksgiving may be based off bad events, but Thanksgiving is real, and I'm thankful that I have other heroes like Batman and Robin to work with and to help us take down criminals like the Penguin and Scarecrow. Meanwhile, in Arkham Asylum, the Asylum decided to celebrate and give the inmates a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. As you can see, they serve Penguin the turkey that he's so adamantly against. Penguin gets very angry and simply screams, Aah! So all's well that ends well. Batman, Robin, and the Man of Bats not only save Thanksgiving, but they remind each other what Thanksgiving really means. It's about friends, family, and allies. I want to wish everyone out there a happy Thanksgiving from D Hunter, action figure style. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure videos from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.